there we go. Okay, so I just got back to the hotel. Just a showcase of what I've gotten so far. Um, let's start with Tsukiji Market. So, in my bag here, a matcha bowl specifically, well, to make matcha. Um, plating chopsticks. Now, I've really wanted to get this for a long, long time. 56 59 dollars I think. But yeah, I, I think it's well worth it for the quality that I'm getting. So that's the second thing. Third thing, um, this is nothing really big. This is just from a pastry shop. I'm just getting some piping nozzles. Um, this is a sake cup to drink sake, obviously. So we've got some honey sticks. Um, it's a honey in the restaurant. I've also got a spoon here that my chef friend wants. Really nice spoon, I think made from tin. Hammered, and so it has a really nice texture to it. Really cool. Uh, Alright. The one knife that I don't currently have in my collection is a slicer. And so this is a sujihiki, which is basically a double bevel yanagiba. This is made from blue steel or awogane. You can also get your name engraved, and uh, that's what I did here with my Chinese name. I also bought a saya, or which is the knife. Uh, you get what I mean, right? So, we, I also bought some chopsticks. Now, this is cooking chopsticks. So, when you're making omelette in a pan, an unstick pan, you, I find this to be much, much easier than using a fork. Now, this is a tamagoyaki pan. Handles inside as well. And this, I don't know if you can see from the ridges, it's actually a wooden board to put on top to shape and mold the tamagoyaki. Ah! I don't know if I can open this on time for everyone to see. So, this is a bamboo brush. For what exactly? It's a freaking copper turtle basically it's called an oroshigane and basically you zest food items here and then you use the brush and dust it right in front of your guest um, you can also use it to grate ginger and wasabi uh, and daikon radish as well obviously in the state of Mal in the country of Malaysia we won't be doing that but you know why not it's a turtle it's cute sue me from my little trip to Tohoku in the Miyagi prefecture I got some sake this is one of the nicest sakes I've ever had in my life and my uttermost favorite sake that I had in this trip, which is a yuzu sake. I can't wait to open this up, and this is so, so good. Mm. Mm. So, to the tea shop that we went in, Shiogama, uh, we got a souvenir, and this is so cool. So, this looks so just like a bottle of mineral water, but it's not. Underneath this cap over here, when you open this, tea leaves actually fall inside. You shake, and you get fresh tea. And shit. I also bought their Hon Sen Cha. It's one of the best sen I've ever tasted in my life. If you go to Shiogama, go and find Yabe-san, go check it out. It's pretty cool. Uh, I also got uh, a teapot. This teapot, th there is not a single one that looks exactly like this. This lid only fits for this pot and not any other model of its same kind. During the trip in Shiogama, we also got sake <laughs> We also got sake cups. Because why not sake? Okay, speaking of sake, okay, so I went to Don Quixote yesterday, got a sake decanter, this is not really a sake decanter, is it? Sake cups, obviously, so another sake cup that matches with this colour. Some Zunda! So Zunda basically is edamame that's sweetened, it's famous in the Miyagi prefecture, and I think that is basically it for what I've bought so far. Anyways, I'm gonna have a rest now. Um, it is the last night I'm going to spend in Tokyo before my flight tomorrow. And so for the last thing that I want to do in Tokyo is to get some rest. And uh, for our dinner, we are going to have one of the most famous things in Tokyo. And that, my friends, is over. So I'm going to have a rest first. I'll see you later. crowded here but uh, I just ordered the yam based soba noodles they have an English menu here so it's perfectly fine if you don't speak Japanese um, but yeah last stop for Tokyo The 
meals itself um, have a very pasta-like al dente in a, in, a, in the best way possible. So much different from traditional, not traditional, but uh, modernized soba that you get in the malls these days. Grated mountain yam sauce is definitely much better than having suyu sauce, which is a traditional dipping sauce for soba noodles. The, the chicken yakitori it was so smoky, it was so well seasoned. Uh, the meat itself definitely was not a commercial uh, tender chicken. It, was, it had some bite to it in a good way, uh, but it was so deep in flavor. So yeah, I think that's basically it for this trip. You know, I think just having one day in Tokyo is definitely not enough. We only cover a small few few, piece, few places, right? So, I think if you have a chance to come to Tokyo, try to go off the not so touristy areas. Uh, I, I still think if you can go to, you know, outside of Tokyo, like the Shiogama towns and the Miyagi prefectures and things like that. Um, but yeah. So, anyways, if you are still watching this, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if the content was good. If, if it's bad, just let me know as well. And you know what, if you like this kind of com commentaries, videos, share, subscribe, you know the drill. And yeah, maybe I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.